everyone, I'm Keely and this is the Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to share with you my Christmas and December sewing plans. So it is now December and I'm starting to think about Christmas. Uh, ideally I would have thought about Christmas sewing plans before now but it seems like Christmas has come out of nowhere. I just want to talk through a few of the things I'm making for other people and show some fabrics and then also some of the things I've got planned for December. So first I'm going to share some sewing plans for me. So I've been gifted some fabric by Lubadoo Fabrics and that is for a blog post as part of the new blogger team. And I am going to be making the Westcliff dress from Friday Pattern Company. Now I've already got one of these cut out to make a test version, but I'm also going to be making one out of this really beautiful fabric. So I have shown you this before my fabric haul, but this is a viscose jersey in this beautiful kind of pink berry colour. And it's got all of these kind of paint marks on it. And I think this is going to be really lovely. It's flowy. I think the, so the Westcliff dress has gathers on the shoulder and then is a wrap front and then has a ruffle at the bottom as well. And I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to add the ruffle, but it would be a really cute detail. So that is going to be one of the first things that I make in December. One of the other things I'm going to be making in December is uh, my Asotis dress. Now I'm going to make the version without the collar. I'm going to hack the neckline so it has a facing instead. And I'm not sure yet which fabric I'm going to be using for this. I need to make up a test version of the bodice and the sleeves first of all, and then I'll have a look at my fabrics. But uh, potentially I might be using some of my fabric that I got in Japan uh, last summer, which is a really special fabric, but I think it would look really cute. And they're, they're really beautiful fabrics. So if you want to see some of the fabrics I got in Japan, look back at the haul video, quite a way down my videos, uh, but you will see that coming up relatively soon and I'm going to do a review video. I am also planning to make a few cardigans, so I'm going to be using the Blackwood cardigan pattern as well as the Simplicity patterns that I got recently and I'm going to be making a few cardigans. One of the cardigans is going to be made out of this fabric, which I'm going to show you now. It's this really beautiful green rib fabric from Lamazi Fabrics, really beautiful colour and I think it will go really well with a lot of my navy in my wardrobe and I'm definitely finding at the moment I need to make a couple more cardigans because especially for wearing with certain dresses that I've made and definitely with pinafores, I feel like only certain cardigans go and so I want to make more of those cardigans um, for that. So I'm going to make, a, I'm not sure which yet, I'm going to uh, decide later on. A nice cozy cardigan and that might even be perfect for Christmas Day. Now I have got a few events planned so I've got my work Christmas party and then a department Christmas meal and then I've got the Like So Amazing Christmas party as well and the Like So Amazing Christmas party is on Friday the 13th of December so I need to kind of make a choice of what I'm going to wear for those now my work Christmas party I've already decided I'm going to wear my velvet dress that I made for Hal Sawim and I will pop in a picture but I'm going to shorten the sleeves because they were way too hot and that's going to be ready um, for me to wear and I think that's going to look really cool. The other two I'm not so sure so the meal I'm going to be going straight from work so I think it might just be a dress that I've already kind of got. It's going to be a little bit more casual and then the like so amazing Christmas party. I would quite like to make something for it. Maybe my Maya Sotis dress that I make or maybe another Shelby dress. I've got some really beautiful fabrics for that. So and you helped me choose actually so I could uh, make that up. But I'm not I'm not too sure yet and also it's not next week but the week after so it's all according to how much time I've actually got in terms of <laughs> to sew something um, but hopefully I will make something new because it's always really lovely to wear something new to events. I will be trying to sew some other bits and pieces this month as well but I think it's going to be taking over by gift sewing. I am going to finish off this jumper so this jumper here is the Sloan sweater from Named Clothing and I've used it out of two different sweatshirtings so the navy blue and then the grey and the cuffs are different and the neckband is different 
and I'm actually going to use my Cricut to cut out some iron on vinyl and actually put like a little cat face on the chest of this one because I really want to get into that a little bit more and I think that would be really cute and I'll definitely wear it. This is a kind of a round the house jumper or like weekend wear. I think it would look really cute. And I've just ordered in the Black Friday sales uh, one of the easy presses to go with it because I didn't get on very well um, doing the iron on vinyl with the iron. So I think it'll be easier if I've got one of the easy presses. So that's one of the things I'm gonna do just to finish off that jumper with the cat face. And I'm gonna try and do some more kind of vinyl projects as well, because I think they just look really cute and uh, it makes it just really personalized, which is really lovely. So the next few things are makes for my family. So my mum this year for Christmas, I'm going to make her things. Uh, so I've got quite a bit of fabric that I've bought that I think would be really good for her. And I'm gonna make her a few different tops and things and I will show you the fabric. So this is a really lovely kind of cord um, or knitted effect jersey. And this is from Lamazi Fabrics as well. And I was expecting this to come in a slightly different color. I was expecting it to be more like cranberry uh, or jewel, but actually this is kind of more red and actually I don't prefer that color, but my mum absolutely loves this color. So I am going to probably make either a cardigan, so maybe the Blackwood, or um, an Elliot sweater by Helen's Closet out of it because she really likes the look of that pattern. So I'm gonna make a test one first for her, but I think this would look really cute in a nice cozy jumper for her for the winter. So I've got a few more fabrics in here, which I'm also gonna be using. So I've got this striped cotton jersey with seahorses, and I'm going to be making a molly top by Sew Over It out of this for her. Uh, I've got a couple of different fabrics that some are gonna be long sleeves and some shorter sleeve tops, but this is gonna be a long sleeved one. And then I've got these two as well. So this one is from Stoff and Still that I got, and it was gonna be for me, but I've decided I don't, I'm not quite sure about it for myself, but actually my mum saw it and really loved it. So I'm gonna make a top for her out of that one as well. And then this uh, heart cotton jersey as well. This is one that I got from the nylon shop as was the seahorses. Um, so really nice quality uh, cotton jersey, but, not too expensive so it will work out really well so I can make quite a few things um, within the kind of price range as it were. And I've also got this organic cotton jersey which is from Like So Amazing, really really high quality, nice and thick and warm and again I'm going to either try to make like the Elliot sweater or maybe a cardigan out of this. I'm not quite uh, sure yet but I've got my mum's measurements and I kind of know her proportions so I'm just going to try and make a few things and hopefully they'll w work out and um, they should do usually she fits the things that I make because I have made her like a lot of stuff before so uh, hopefully she will fit into it all. I am also hoping to make my husband a few things so I'm going to make him the men's Hudson pants and I'm aiming to make him about three pairs as well as buying him some gifts for Christmas. So he has already got a pair out of this, but I bought enough to make another pair. So this is a sweatshirting with a little bit of a marl on it. It's just a gray. So that'll be one pair of Hudson pants. And then I've got this, which again is gray, but it's got a little color speckle on it, which I think is really cute, just slightly different. Um, again, another pair of Hudson pants. So I'm making a few pairs because this is what he usually wears uh, during the week now. He works from home and it makes him feel a little bit smarter because they're a skinnier fit than kind of some jogging trousers you kind of see around. And then I'm gonna make him, wow, you can tell cats have been on this. Perfect for Joy's Pink Coat Club uh, contains cat hair labels, which I will link below if you want to see them um, because these certainly will. <laughs> I think Kiki has decided that she likes sitting on boxes of fabric and now I, with two cats, apparently cat, I'm not going to get away from cat hair. Anyway, this is a navy blue sweatshirting from Like So Amazing, really beautiful and warm, um, really beautiful quality as well and I'm going to basically make uh, his and hers as it were, both Hudson pants, so we'll basically be matching. <laughs> and lastly, for Christmas, I am, well, not lastly, I'm hoping to make a few things for my sister um, and for my niece and nephew. 
So a couple of years ago, I made my sister, her husband and my niece uh, Christmas stockings. They were patchwork and they had a letter on them with the first initial of their names. Now she has just had uh, my nephew and obviously he now doesn't have a stocking, but thinking ahead, I luckily kept like a bit of each of the fabrics so I can make him a stocking that works in the same way as the other so they will be matching so i do want to try and get that stocking made and i also want to make him a name cushion now i have made these for a lot of my friends who have had babies and it's basically uh, nine patchwork squares together i will post in a picture so you can see with a border around and then their name across it and i haven't had a chance to make that yet but hopefully i will make that in time for christmas as an additional gift and then i'm going to make my niece uh, a few different dresses so i have bought the pansy dress pattern by poppy and jazz uh, by sew over it that was in the sale so i got it for a lot cheaper it's 30 percent off but it's going to be the perfect pattern to make lots of little dresses i can make short sleeve ones and i can probably uh, manage it into a, like a t-shirt pattern as well and my niece absolutely loves the idea of having something handmade i think and she likes really bright colours and clashing prints and what I'm going to do is I've got two big boxes full of jersey scraps basically so I'm going to kind of dig through and find the cotton scraps or the ones that are appropriate for her and then I'm going to kind of mix and match where I need to I like matching colours or matching patterns like two stripes together and then make her a few dresses as well uh, so I'm going to make one for her to try on first of all and then make a few more and I think that will be really good uh, because it will she'll have some new dresses first of all but also it will use up some of my jersey scraps which there's only so many scrunchies I can make and I reckon out of those boxes I could probably make like a thousand scrunchies and I just don't need that many really so I've got lots of plans and I'm hoping that I will get a few done now unfortunately we break up from school literally four days before christmas so we break up on the 20th and then obviously christmas is on the wednesday after and so i'm hoping to get my making done over the next few weekends um, so i'm hoping to kind of blitz through cutting stuff out and then kind of go through sewing it and then hopefully on an evening when i get home from work i'll be able to do some like pinning and then just blitz through doing some sewing as well uh, so hopefully I will manage to get at least a few of these things done. I think I always have kind of mammoth amounts of plans and don't ever get them all done. But actually I think it's going to be really fun. And also I love giving people things that I've made for Christmas. It's really special to me um, and it's really lovely to see when they really enjoy it and like wear those things or use those things. Um, and that's always really lovely to see as well. I am also going to try and do vlogmas, but I'm gonna do it in a slightly different way. There is no way that I could film every day and edit or put a video together and post it and upload it every day. December's quite stressful in work with lots of things going on. And I think that it, that would be impossible, but I would like to take you along um, through December. So what I'm going to try and do is film little clips throughout the week and then post a video hopefully on a Saturday, maybe on a Friday, of the things that have happened during the week. So it will be kind of like Vlogmas but it will be all in one and it will be things like me opening my stationary advent calendar which I got from Nikki McWilliams and also when we put our decorations up or do any Christmassy things and also when I'm doing some sewing I'm going to try and set up a camera so you can kind of see what I'm doing and I'll talk to you um, throughout it a little bit and see what I'm doing like and when I'm using my Cricut machine to make some Christmas cards and different bits and pieces like that so it'll be a little bit more of an insight into what's going on on a kind of daily basis but you'll get the video weekly. I quite like the idea of it because I think it's quite fun and it'll be really lovely to look back on like in the future to see what I was getting up to and I hope that you really enjoy that as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.